So Shift 24 has been disconnected from the cryo station and it has moved. So we're moving and seeing where it's going. Seeing Starbase from the back of a horse is truly magical. I posted a quick live stream. Unfortunately, the service wasn't the best, but also some pictures of this adventure. And you guys had some great commentary to describe this contrast. <laughs> Some of my favorite comments, one of the oldest means of transport next to the most modern fitting. Also, what a contrast horsepower and rocket power. And from humanity's oldest form of transport, you're filming humanity's newest form of transport. That's poetry. It truly felt like poetry in motion to see Starbase from the back, bareback may I add, of this horse, Starbuck. Now this horse was brought to Boca Chica Beach by my friend Gene Gore. He runs surfing lessons out there on South Padre Island. He's also pretty big on Twitter and I was just so thankful that he was willing to do this for me and make my trip that much more special. And as a bonus, a few days later, as I'm editing this video, Elon liked our tweet of our horseback ride. So who knows, maybe a tour with Elon is in the future. Gene grew up surfing and being a lifeguard. He knows this Texas beach better than anyone. And he says it's been crazy to see the growth since SpaceX entered the scene. Were you Super exciting. always a space fan or? Oh no, man, <laughs> just a surfer and a lifeguard. And, and uh, no, I remember Challenger, that's about it. Never really cared about rockets, but day building a freaking rocket on my beach I'm like whoa this is this is cool are you happy about it oh hell yes back in August of last year Jean was able to take Dr. Cyan Proctor out for a ride look at her enjoying herself on Starbucks she says she rides everywhere she goes and travels she's pretty experienced which was nice yeah so we got to let her do her thing and she really enjoyed it here. How long have you had them? Since was one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I've had all these since they were babies. I've been surfing here since I was a teenager. Wow. Surfing and fishing. Here. Like before Nathan was here, like you drive down this road and if you saw one car coming the other way, you'd be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and now. No, I'm serious. Like, is it crazy to see the difference now? I think it's freaking awesome. He's not gonna bite, right? No. He's just... He usually licks my back. No. But you have taken some SpaceX people on rides. Yeah. Yeah. And they love that? Well, my secret goal here... Starbase Stables. Yeah. Oh, Starbase yeah. Stables. We love it. Yeah. We're gonna make it happen. I love it. I mean, come on. You gotta represent the local culture. Yeah. You ride the horses on the beach for uh, range security. Yeah? It's just all around entertainment. That's one of my secret missions. Yeah? Oh, you have more than one secret mission? <laughs> a surf club. A surf club, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, have you gotten any of like the SpaceX people to surf with you? Oh yeah, it's some more coming tomorrow. We're gonna go in the water. You guys, is this real life? I'm with a horse on the beach at <laughs> Starbase. horses. I love it. I love horses. I went to school to learn how to train. Um, I never competed. I just love, I love to train horses. I love to work with trouble horses, you know, like problem yeah, horses, yeah. dangerous horses. Like if you have a horse that kicks, bites, bucks you off, you're terrified of. Uh, I love working with horses like that because you know why? It's never the horse. Yeah. It's always the owner, man. Yeah. So really just educating the owner and showing them how to deal with uh, the problems that they created. So I'm back here on South Padre Island. I didn't get a chance to come here <clears throat> last time, but I've been here the first time that I was here and I'm excited to go swimming and maybe try surfing. We'll see what happens. But I just wanted to reflect. Um, I'm understanding more and more the dedication of not only the people that work for SpaceX, 
but you know, average Joes who have quit their job to come down and live in Boca Chica, Texas, whether they're documenting this journey, this piece of history, you know, I've met a few uh, new employees that I hadn't talked to previously since coming here. And, you know, obviously SpaceX people can't go on camera. I don't wanna divulge their identities, but their stories just really stick out to me. One guy who came out of retirement, he had a great setup and he came out of retirement to be a part of this and work for SpaceX and is pulling 13 hour days, six days a week. And he's giddy about it, right? He, he, he knows the importance of this. And, you know, there's someone else that I was talking to that was hired to work on a key component of the whole system here, an outside contractor. But he says he came down here to work on that 10 months ago. And here he is 10 months later, obviously we've had delays and lulls in the, uh, in the process, but he loves it. He doesn't want to leave. <clears throat> and it's just really inspiring. And I've realized that part of my mission is to bring this history and this excitement for our future as well to people that just aren't aware of it. Um, I think that, you know, when you have these echo chambers on social media, you think, oh, everyone else is in tune with what's going on. Not really. And so I'm hoping that by producing more content um, that is maybe a little different than what you're used to seeing, we can get more people excited about our future and going to Mars and um, creating just this amazing starship that we're all so excited uh, to see actually launch here soon. So those are my thoughts for this Saturday morning. All right, today's conditions, heavy surf, dangerous currents stay within waist deep water. I just had my surf lesson and I can't even believe it. I was able to stand up. I've only tried surfing once in my life and I wasn't able to get off, like up off my knees. And I was about maybe 10 or 11, but since then I've kind of had it in my mind that I can't do it. But look at who can. Wow. How old is he? He's eight. What's his name? Archer. How did you teach him to do this? He just wanted to. Okay. I, I'm glad I tried it because I'd feel a little bad if the dog could do it and I didn't try it.
Dude, this is crazy. It's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Come you on. literally have to tell your dog that it's it's your turn. It's my turn. <laughs> Buddy. I've never seen uh, a woman and a dog fight over a surfboard. <laughs> I'm always finding something new. In Texas. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> no? <laughs> no way. Oh. Got it? He's serious. Look at those. Look at that face. Never have I ever seen a dog fight over a surfboard. This dog loves to surf. This is crazy. You ride and you also surf. Those are so different hobbies. Not really. No? Which do you like more? Uh, depends on how good the waves are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I want to give a huge thank you to Jean and Rachel. I did not expect to be able to go horseback riding there at Starbase and also go surfing on my trip. They are such kind, generous people, but they are also great instructors. So if you do find yourself down on South Padre Island, I would definitely check out their surfing lessons. And again, we all hope that Jean can make a reality of having a stables at Starbase. How cool would that be? I know some people ask me, hey, is this a horse that I could rent at the beach? Not yet, but that could change. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This was one of my favorite ones to make just because, come on, these are such fun activities. I have many, many more videos that I'm editing right now from my trip. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to Ellie in Space, and I'll see you in the next one. One last thing, all those little welts that you see on me are stupid mosquito bites. So if you do come here, bring your bug spray. I was wearing bug spray most of the time, but these things are relentless. Thank you.